Welcome to how to use the exclusive gateway shape. The exclusive gateway is part of the gateway family and there's many variations. Just like its peers, it has a split into two or more directions. Let's take a look. The exclusive gateway creates a fork in the road where we're going to be testing one or more conditions. However, only one condition, the one that is true, can be followed. For example, for today, we're going to take a look at somebody who's waiting in line and they want to determine if they should continue to wait in line or go home. Their decision is going to be dependent on the wait time. Let's see what our process map looks like. Looking at our process map, we're going to be in the first person, so I'm going to review how long my wait time is. This is the first task. We can see then the exclusive gateway, which is our purple diamond with the X in it, pairs off into two different conditions. The first condition, which goes up top, is less than five minutes, where then I will continue to wait in line. However, the other condition, where the wait time is greater than five minutes, which follows the path down, is to go home. As you can see, our exclusive gateway can only satisfy one condition. Our example is very high level, that's why we don't have a start event, and we could have added in more details. In a nutshell, that's how you use an exclusive gateway. You'd only follow the one path where your condition is true. And we're done. That concludes this session. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.